My name is Tuni, I am an email designer at Chameleon and today I will show you how to always create emails that look great in dark mode. We will take a litmus email as an example where we go through the different checklist items. I've already rebuilt litmus's email in Chameleon. It only took a few minutes to recreate using our drag and drop email builder. As you can see, the email is well structured and the different blocks are well defined. And before we start, I wanted to show you how the email looks normally and how it looks like when dark mode is activated. As you can see, the light and dark colors have been inverted and it just so happens that the first rule of creating dark mode friendly emails is to choose your email colors wisely before designing. As you might already know, different email clients and devices display dark mode emails differently. Some invert the complete email design, while others invert only some parts of the email. But one thing for sure is that your email colors will be inverted in one way or another, and therefore you must choose colors that will invert nicely. To find out your colors inversion, simply use a free online tool and copy paste your chosen colors to see what they look like when inverted. You will find the link of the website I'm using now in the description box below. What you're looking for is a color that looks great both on light mode and dark mode and still respects your brand guidelines. Next rule is design email blocks with dark mode in mind. This litmus email example perfectly showcases this rule. I'll start by dragging and dropping an empty box element in the body of the email. I'll change the box background color to white. Separate the padding to add different size padding on all sides, as well as bottom, left, and right margins. Using the breadcrumb menu on top, I select the block containing my empty box and change the background color to light gray. Next, add a multi-column element. Drag and drop an image element, double click to open the gallery and select the image. Finally, duplicate the text element above our box and insert it in the right column. And don't forget to adjust the width of two columns. And now we have the white email block that is well defined in light mode but will blend in with the dark gray background when dark mode is activated. And that's why we will take the time to add a light shadow effect for the box. Simply add a different size border on all sides of the box in light gray. When previewing the email in light mode, the box barely shows, but when in dark mode, the border is highlighted and it almost looks like the different email blocks have been eliminated. Third and final rule is to use images with transparent background. If your images have a white background, they will look fine in light mode, but will look very sloppy in dark mode. Your images should be in PNG format with transparent background. That way, even when the email background color changes, like you see now, it still looks clean and professional. Before we wrap up our lesson, I'd like to show you an easy, foolproof way to test your emails for dark mode before sending. Using Chameleon's email editor, you can send an unlimited number of test emails. In the top right hand corner, click on share, then send test email. Write your Outlook email address and hit send. Now you'll be able to preview how your email will look like with Outlook's dark mode settings. Change your test email address to, to a Gmail one and use your Android phone to view the email. When dark mode is activated, you can see how the email colors were completely inverted. Same goes for Apple email. Simply turn on dark mode on your iPhone and you'll see how Apple Mail showcases dark mode emails differently than Gmail on iOS or Android. If you want to know more about how different email clients showcase emails in dark mode, make sure to check out our detailed guide in the description box. Thank you all for watching and don't hesitate to try out these simple hacks in our free email builder. See you next time.